Welcome back to the Sports <laughs> Source. Uh, two very quick slants in this quick slant segment. Slant number one, uh, wide receiver Vaughn Pearson was named as a suspect in a rape case uh, back in April, has been suspended since. It's uh, turned out he is not enrolled in this second semester of summer school. Now that's not a precursor to playing on the team as long as he's academically eligible. Uh, but the, the legal system grinds on and on, which is fine. That's what the legal system does. You want to get it right. Uh, but just guesstimate at this point, do you think Vaughn Pearson is a member of the Tennessee football team this fall? If I had to guess, I would guess yes. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean anything, but he was on the roster still uh, earlier this week. As long as he's in school, obviously by the fall for the upcoming semester, uh, and charges obviously don't come, yeah, I think he'll be back on the team. Guys, what do you think? Boy, I don't know. I, I was kind of thinking no, but uh, it's purely just a guess because you just have no idea how the what schedule the legal system is on. It's hard to speculate. I don't really know the details of the mm -hmm. case, but uh, hopefully it can get resolved one way or the other. So I, my crack investigative staff says no, and mm -hmm. they say it's going to come down to an academic issue just mm -hmm. as much as it is any kind of off-the-field issue. All right, we'll see. Um, if, if the, I, I expected this thing to be kind of wrapped up beforehand because charges haven't been, you know, he hasn't been officially uh, hit with anything serious at this point. Um, but We're it, coming it's up on still, three months. Yeah, I mean, it's still going on and on. So the, the longer it goes, obviously, the more, the more questionable his return becomes. All right, uh, Memphis basketball coach Josh Pashner is uh, going to lose one of his best players in Austin Nichols. He's already told Nichols he can't go to a list of schools, which I never like in a coach. Tells him he can't go to a bunch of schools. One of those is Tennessee, by the way. Pastner has not made a lot of friends at Memphis. He's following John Calipari. That was going to be very difficult. He's not had the success anywhere near what John Calipari had. Now you lose Nichols. They, they went after Bruce Pearl once before. They went after Bruce Pearl when he was at Tennessee, and he talked long and hard with them. How long before Bruce Pearl's name, well, I'm connecting it. How long before Bruce <laughs> Pearl really comes into the picture at Memphis, do you think? Do you think he will? I do. I think he'll be. I think that's a win for Memphis if they can swipe him. I think he'd be smart to get out of Auburn. I, I could see Fred Smith and that bunch at Memphis really making a push for him either next year or the year after. If Passner is eventually out, and I think he will be, I, I think you have big problems there right now, like you're talking about. Then I think Bruce's name would immediately be connected, and I think he'd be willing to to move if things don't uh, improve quickly at Auburn. Russ, I think Passner might pull a Conzo Martin. You know, there's so much heat Lee, there. Yeah, yeah I mean, he might want to go ahead and, and get while the getting's good. And if that happens, then, yeah, I mean, Pearl's a no-brainer. It's a perfect fit. Yeah. How long before Bruce starts getting a tear in his eyes before he starts talking about his love for Memphis and <laughs> how that's one of his favorite <laughs> programs and it, he really likes it when they win? Mike, you think he'd pop up on that? Do you think that there's a possible possibility of him landing in Memphis? If there's an opening, he will be in within 60 seconds, his name will come up. I, I don't think Memphis is as good a job as it has been. Their conference isn't as good, but uh, Auburn, you're in the SEC, but still, I, th I think they, if they went after Bruce Pearl at Memphis, they'd probably get him. I think he'd take that in a heartbeat. And I think they would pay more than the two five that Auburn's paying. And I think they would do it because it not only gets them a guy that's a proven winner, but it really would get under Tennessee fan skin, and I think that would motivate them a lot. All right, <laughs> that's one to watch for the future. When we come back, did you notice that Nike actually changed the power T? No joke, they really changed the power T. We'll show you how the changes look. Come on back on the Sports Source.